I mean, do you listen to yourself in these videos? Do you proofread the videos before posting them? You're saying you love Jenny Craig, but last time you were on a Jenny Craig diet, you lasted six days and you love all the foods in it, but you don't like this. Coach Greg, today we're going over Amberlynn Reed's new diet, the Jenny Craig diet. We're going to see, is she going to be successful on this diet? Is it a good diet? Should you try out this diet? Pros and cons, let's just see how she does. I'm just gaining and gaining and gaining and I feel miserable. I don't breathe well anymore. I don't have as much stamina. I don't have as much energy things hurt more. Okay, so she's 545 pounds and she's sick and tired of being sick and tired. She said enough is enough. She's been saying that for about eight years. Enough is enough. And frankly, ever since she was a kid, she's been overweight. It's obviously partly the fault of her genetics, but also her life's choices, the foods that she decides to put in her mouth. She's not meant to be skinny, but she's also not meant to be 545 pounds. It's all about balance and having realistic expectations. It's not realistic in my mind for her to try to be 145 pounds, but 345, I, I think that's very realistic for her to do. So with Jenny Craig, everything is planned out for you, um, but you do get to choose your own fruits, your own vegetables, your own fats, your own proteins. That makes a lot of sense because if you do not like what you're eating, you're most likely not going to stick to the diet. If it's all chicken, broccoli, and rice, you're not going to stick to the diet. But the first thing I am eating is a recharge bar. Okay, so for meal one, she has a recharge bar from Jenny Craig. So I looked it up and it should be called a fat bar. In fact, there's more grams of fat in a recharge bar than a Kit Kat bar, which is my favorite chocolate bar. You wanna hear the macros? 190 calories, 16 grams of fat, four of which is saturated, 11 grams of carbs, four of which is fiber, which is pretty good, six grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. Three. This is a chocolate bar. Don't be confused by the word recharge. After 14 hours of fasting, she needs protein. That's her first opportunity for muscle protein synthesis to occur. She may not be lifting weights, but her muscles still need to recover. She's 545 pounds. If she stands up, she squat more than you, unless you're an advanced power lifter. If she just stands up off the couch, she's stronger than you. 550 pounds. How many of you are squatting up and down with 545 pounds? No artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners. Uh, so what? I'd rather have some artificial crap in the bar and have it have less calories and more protein. Calories in, calories out, end of the day. It's not, did you have artificial sweeteners or not? So, this is gonna be my first thing that I eat today, and this is the first thing, and it's supposed to recharge you. It's not going to recharge you. It's mostly fat, it's not gonna digest quickly, doesn't have a lot of protein. It's just a bar that they've convinced you that it's healthy. I got some stuck to my tooth, but it's good. You don't even need to taste it to know it's good. You just read the ingredients. Of course it tastes good. Not a good breakfast for you, but it tastes good. And is that filling? That little teensy weensy bar, is that really filling? No. I don't dislike anything from Jenny Craig. Like, in my opinion, it all tastes really good. Oh, I love everything from Jenny Craig. Last time I followed their diet, I followed it for six days. If you loved it, you would keep doing it. You love your pet, you're gonna exchange it after six days. Oh, I love my cat, I just adopted. I kept it for six days. No, if you love it, you would keep doing it. The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You need to try a different diet. Maybe the circle diet, you ever heard of it? Low calorie dense foods that are full of protein. You get to eat a lot of it, it tastes amazing and you're full and you don't need to freaking binge. That is the secret. And next up, she's having a Jenny Craig shake, which does have protein, so that's a good thing. It's not going to be as filling as a thick ice cream shake that she could hold over her head. And next up, she gets to eat a half a banana, as if the other half of the banana is gonna affect her weight loss. 
This woman's 545 pounds. She shouldn't be on such a restrictive diet. Having to eat too low in a deficit, it's going to make her cravings come back. You might keep them at bay for a while, but ghrelin's coming for you eventually. Maybe later in the evening, you can't stick to your diet. Having extra food earlier in the day would keep her binges at bay. I would suggest she eat the entire banana or maybe an extra one. More food volume to keep you satiated. I also get apple cinnamon oatmeal. So... Let's try it together. I'm kind of nervous because I'm not an oatmeal fan. Oh, and I love everything on Jenny Craig. And next up is apples and oatmeal. I don't like oatmeal. I mean, do you listen to yourself in these videos? Do you proofread the videos before posting them? You're saying you love Jenny Craig, but last time you were on a Jenny Craig diet, you lasted six days and you love all the foods in it, but you don't like this. I'm used to like Quaker oatmeal, like tasting like super sugary. So I can already tell that this is like a healthier option, you know? If you can already tell that it's a healthier option, it means it's not as good. You're saying, oh, it tastes healthier. Who wants to eat food that tastes healthier? I want it to taste amazing. Oh, I can see it's not as sugar as sugar. Who cares if it's got artificial sweeteners? That is not what's making you obese. You don't need to eat foods that taste healthy. Broccoli, cauliflower, no. You can eat what you want. Just have to make sure it's in your calorie range to allow you to lose weight. I used to hate bananas. They used to make me gag, like literally, and they don't anymore. You can truly teach yourself to like certain like veggies or fruit. And she makes a good point. If you don't like vegetables or fruit right now, you never eat them. And that's a very common occurrence. If you start trying them, eventually they might grow on you. And if you don't like them, make it better. Bring it inside the circle. If plain apples is out the circle, you don't like an apple that much. It's, it's a two on 10 on the taste scale. Make it better. Put some artificial sweetener on it. Put some cinnamon. Make a protein dip. Dip it in protein powder mix in syrup. The same can be done with vegetables. Important tip, eat your fruits and vegetables. Not gonna lie, I wanna try this first. Mm. Let's be honest here. The cauliflower is not Oh, so good, so delicious. If it was that delicious, you would be eating it all the time. You're eating it now on a diet. Now, absolutely, I agree, this cauliflower is amazing, it's healthy. And if you really liked it this much, you would be eating it more often. Perhaps there's a bit of playing it up for the camera. If this diet tasted this good, you would stick to it. Hopefully it tastes as good as you're making it seem. And spaghetti and meatballs, it's a higher calorie dense food item. It's a lot more calories for a smaller portion size. That means when you're on a diet eating this kind of meal, it's not gonna keep you satiated, but having the cauliflower on the side, that is in fact a great idea. By adding the cauliflower, which is a low calorie dense food to the high calorie dense food, the spaghetti item, this allows her to eat more volume for not a lot more calories. A smart decision to make to allow her to be full while tasting foods that taste amazing. And next up, she's having milk, cheese, and sandwich or deli meat. Nothing wrong with this. You might be thinking, no, that's not good. There's nothing wrong with that. Milk's got lots of calcium. It's 1% fat, so it's lower in calories. I eat deli meat all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. There's low in calories. It's not going to kill you people. But being morbidly obese is. I'm really hungry. I'm, it's, head hunger because I'm not like physically hung hungry at all. Listen, people, there is no difference. If you're head hungry or physically hungry, you're still hungry. If you're overworked, tired or underworked, tired or just tired, you're still tired. Hungry is hungry. If you want to eat, you want to eat. It doesn't matter the reason. What matters is what you actually end up putting in your mouth. Is that what she said? So I'm going to act as if this apple is candy. And she is eating the best apple out there, the Honeycrisp. This is my favorite one. But even a Honeycrisp apple, it, it doesn't taste like candy. But you can, in fact, make it taste better. Add some artificial sweetener, some cinnamon, or dip it in some PB2 mixed with syrup, low-calorie syrup, of course, or protein powder mixed with syrup, water, whatever. Figure out a dip that you enjoy. Make it taste like candy. 
I ended up falling off of plan. I ended up having some jasmine rice, some Asian trail mix, and some ice cream. Why is this stuff even in the house? How many times have I told people, don't keep high calorie dense foods, highly palatable delicious foods that you don't want to eat on your diet, readily available right in front of you. You have to say no all the time. You don't go off the diet on day one. If you're off the diet on day one, the diet sucks donkey balls. Think about it. You guys need to come back tomorrow for day two. I'm gonna weigh in. We're gonna see if I gained weight from the little mishap. So remember that half a banana she ate earlier in the day? Maybe she should add five bananas. If it would have kept her full and prevented her from eating ice cream and trail mix and rice later in the night, Think of the difference it makes. You're trying to do too much too soon. It's baby steps. Keep it simple. Do a diet you can do for life. You've already proven the Jenny Craig diet didn't work for you. You've already tried it and failed. Why are you doing the same diet again? Okay, it's day two. We're going to see. Did she make any adjustments, any changes? And don't overthink your diet. You just need to be in a deficit. You don't have to think, oh, it has to be special healthy foods here, and I don't like them, and it has to be a certain way. Chicken, broccoli, and rice. No, don't overthink it. Eat the foods that you like, but make sure they're high-volume foods that fill you up to taste amazing that you'll stick to for the rest of your life. As you can see, I stayed the exact same weight, and the reason for that is because last night for dinner, I completely fell off plan. So what that tells me is your calorie intake on your diet is way too low. You're trying to lose weight too fast. It's making you hungry. You might think it's mental hunger and not physical, but when you're used to eating 4,500 calories a day and you eat 2,000, it's just too much of a deficit. You're gonna feel hungry and starving unless the foods were so low in calories but voluminous, so voluminous, more voluminous than last time that it would keep the stomach stretched out and full. That's the only way to diet in that big of a deficit without being hungry. Yet again, she's starting with the recharge bar, which is a chocolate bar after a fast. But was it a fast if you ate 2,000 calories during the night? Of course it's not. Now, what would I recommend if you overeat, have a huge bin the night before? I would say the next day, you eat less. If you binge that much, your glycogen stores are full. Your stomach isn't even empty. If you wake up at 4 in the morning, eat 2,000 calories, you don't need to wake up at 7 and eat again. You're good. The body can handle 3 hours without eating. Even Coach Greg, as a professional bodybuilder, I have to go five hours without eating. I don't need to eat eight times a day every two hours. Every five hours is fine. I like to eat four to five meals a day. I know without a doubt I ate over a thousand calories in ice cream. I know I ate probably around 600, 700 calories of rice and about 600, 700 calories of trail mix. So I estimate it was 2,000 calories, but it's at least 2,400 based on what she just told us. So imagine that a 2,400 calorie binge on day one of your diet. Does that diet sound like it's going to work? And she's eating a lot of different foods. And frankly, I'm watching the foods and I'm like, if she actually liked it, this diet would work if she liked it. I don't believe that to be the case. She's like, oh, I love these apples. They taste like candy. Oh, I love the cauliflower. Oh, these string beans are amazing. If they were that amazing, she would be eating string beans, cauliflowers, and apples at four in the freaking morning now, wouldn't she? So in video number two, she actually tells you the truth on what she actually thinks about the oatmeal. Well, um... Once I turned off the camera and I was like truly eating it, I I can't do oatmeal. Something about it. I hated it. Once she turned off the camera and finished off the oatmeal, she hated it. It definitely tasted worse as the bites went on. She doesn't like oatmeal. So thankfully, she's smart enough to know if you don't like it, stop eating it. Eat something better, something that tastes good. The oatmeal... It was below the circle. It was down there. It didn't taste good enough. Maybe if she made my apple poop, apple goop, apple poop, you know what that one is. If Evelyn tried my apple goop, she'd say, wow, and it's full of oatmeal, but I made it taste like apple freaking pie. Don't tell me Evelyn Lee doesn't like apple pie. You want apple pie? Eat apple goop. Way less calories and just as delicious as last time. Time for next meal. I almost called this an apple. Banana. 
milk and some cheese curls and some cheese curls no that is not going to keep you full or satiated that is a binge worthy item you need to eat popcorn instead everyone knows smart pop popcorn less calories more volume you can keep eating it four in the morning you want to see amberlynn have 2400 calories in a popcorn 12 bags that's more than coach greg ate so all Amberlynn needs to do is choose lower calorie foods that fill her up. It's so frustrating for me to watch this because I know how easy it would be for her to lose weight. It wouldn't be easy to get to 150 pounds, but from 550 to get to 350, it would be easy. She doesn't need a medical team of doctors and experts and specialists. She just needs my freaking cookbook. $149. Oh, it's overpriced. Overpriced to save her life. It would save her life. Literally. All she has to do is eat foods in the book and she's not going to eat enough calories to gain weight. She won't be able to. She'll be too full. It's that easy. And look at the size of that chicken burrito. I'm sure it tastes great, but it has more calories than my massive wraps. That chicken burrito, I could eat eight of them. But my massive wraps too and I'm full. You see the difference? You eat fulls that fill you up that taste amazing. Low volume, voluminous foods that are within the circle. It tastes amazing. Within the circle, you can eat anything you want. And if the food isn't in the circle already, bring it in there. If it's got too many calories, lower the calories. If the pizza, instead of high fat cheese, use low calorie cheese. If the fruit and veggies don't taste good, add something to them to bring up the taste, to bring it within the circle. That is how you're going to lose weight. Stick to the diet, the diet that you enjoy that doesn't feel like a diet, the diet you can follow for the rest of your life. It's a forever diet, the circle diet. Holy shit. Am I screaming that loud that I'm breaking mics here? Okay, that's it for today. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, IB Pro. Bloop it up the two videos. Be sure to watch one. Don't forget, buy my freaking cookbook if you want to be able to lose weight for the rest of your life. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. And until next time, I'm out. So what? I'd rather have the bar with the artificial fruit. Some cinnamon. Dip it into PB2 mixed with sugar.